Question number one from Mary Evans. To ask the Scottish Government whether it will provide an update on what is being done to tackle mental health stigma and discrimination in the workplace. Minister Maureen Ward. Thank you, Presiding Officer. The Scottish Government provides one million per year, along with half a million from Comic Relief, to fund CME, Scotland's national programme, to end the stigma and discrimination that can be associated with mental illness. CME delivers a CME in Work programme to support and enable employers in Scotland to create a mental health friendly workplace where staff feel safe and able to talk openly about mental health and support employees experiencing mental health issues to access their rights. The Scottish Government also provides funding to NHS Health Scotland to provide programmes specifically targeted at workplace settings, including Healthy Working Lives and Work Positive. Workplaces sign up to these programmes. Between April 2016 and November 2016, Mentally Health Workplace one-day courses were delivered to 418 people and 221 businesses. Between April and November 2016, 7,921 people have accessed this online resource. This was the first year this online course has been actively promoted to employers. There has been mentally health workplace training for trainers courses to 34 trainers and 16 businesses, which qualify those attending to deliver the mental health at work course at local or business level. Work positive courses were delivered to 113 people, 80 businesses, to allow them to use the work positive <coughs> resource in their businesses and identify the work related issues that are causing stress to staff. Mary Evans. I thank the Minister for that response and I ask that question because I've had a, a number of cases recently where people have taken antidepressants for example have either been prevented from entering into other sectors of employment <coughs> or progressing in their own careers so I think this is a very important issue. But further to that, a study by the Mental Health Foundation last year found that one in six adults had reported symptoms of a mental health condition in the period from 2012 to 2015. And further to that, 20% of adults reported symptoms of depression in 2014 and 15. Statistics in that report also show a link between deprivation and depression. While the statistics are alarmingly high, what can be done to encourage those who are afraid by the perceived stigma attached to mental health issues to speak up and to seek health? Maureen Wood. Uh, well, I would say to Mary Evans and to anyone in the chamber that we should all encourage people to talk openly about how they're feeling and uh, to any person who is experienced depression or any other mental health problem to come forward and seek support, for example, from their GP. GPs are well placed to advise and guide patients regarding appropriate treatment or management of sy symptoms. Out of hours support is also available from NHS 24 through breathing space or from the Samaritans. Regarding stigma associated with mental health, as I said in my first answer, we fund the, the See Me programme. Um, and we are already seeing the benefit of tackling stigma and discrimination with record numbers of people coming forward uh, for support. Um, and there are other uh, awareness raising actions uh, that we have taken to uh, break down stigma. But our new mental health strategy will include um, ways in which we can further uh, have parity, esteem and continue to reduce stigma. Well,